Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Monday, June 6th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Northern California played host to some of the best bikini and classic physique pros in the business this past weekend at the 2016 Northern California Pro Championships, where Chavez Higa made his first return to the stage in over two years, a very memorable one, as he captured a huge victory and Olympia qualification by putting a stranglehold on the top spot in the classic physique division. In bikini, second year pro Corey Baker squeezed out a huge victory by holding off a spectacular NorCal Masters bikini winner, Iveth Carrion, who continues to impress here through the midpoint of the season. For all the photos and placings from this weekend's action, be sure to head over to npcnewsonline.com. Last weekend north of the border, we also had some major action up at the Toronto Super Show, where the prophecy came to fruition in the men's open, as rookie sensation Nathan Diasha managed to snag the first of what will more likely than not be many wins in an outstanding career. With the victory, Diasha also snags the Mr. Olympia qualification. In the 212 division, Alex Cabernero continued his hot streak following last weekend's win at the Puerto Rico Pro with another dominating performance, edging out hometown favorite Zane Watson. In figure, the judges rewarded Swan De La Rosa for bringing in her best look ever, giving her a well-deserved win in qualification for this year's figure Olympia. Canada's own Laura Carolyn dominated in the women's bodybuilding, while Jennifer Ronziti held off a deep lineup of bikini competitors to hang on for the win. And in the fitness division, the best Ariel Kadar we've seen continues her strong run in 2016 by holding off the always dangerous Miriam Capes for the win. We also had some intense bikini action out in the Midwest over the weekend at the Muscle Mayhem Pro Bikini Championships, where second year pro Whitney Weiser made her 2016 debut a memorable one by capturing the first victory of her young career. In second place, we saw a friend of Muscle in the Morning, Jamie Del Angel, put together her best look of the season, holding off a strong showing from North American champion Rachel Dujean, who finishes third. And rookie pro Taylor Anderson followed up her debut at the New York Pro with another solid showing by finishing fourth, holding off a much improved Jessica Lynn, who rounded out a tough top five. Out in the mile high city of Denver, Colorado, some of the best men's and women's physique competitors in the business took the stage to square off this past weekend at another exciting edition of the Mile High Pro, where our old friend Heather Grace showed up and absolutely dominated the women's physique division by bringing in the best look we've seen from her in quite some time. Second place finisher Vicky Diaz also brought the goods holding off the always dangerous Tracy Hess in third, who finally was rewarded for a year of hard work and physique improvement. On the men's side, Ernest Flowers did his best to leave the arena with every piece of hardware imaginable, as he swept both the Open and Masters men's physique division in super impressive fashion and booked a return trip to the Olympia in the process. Every year, bodybuilding fans in the tri-state area come out in droves to the NPC Bev Francis Atlantic States Championships to get a close look at some of the best talent in the country. And this year, boy did they ever get their money's worth as a completely cartoonish looking Phil Heath came out and rocked the house as the evening's featured guest poser. Phil's in the early stages of his Olympia contest prep, and for the first time in as many appearances already this season, we see the champ starting to round into form and look like his dominant self as he stepped off the stage and out into the audience to engage a bit with the packed house. Everyone better enjoy this now because in a few weeks as we get closer to the show, Heath will begin to put all those public appearances on hold as he prepares to become just the fifth man ever to win the Mr. Olympia title six consecutive years. And if you haven't booked your trip out to this year's Olympia, you might want to get busy now because I have a feeling this year's event is going to be one for the ages. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. 
I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one.